Good morning, Big D. How you doing? Good morning, Nikki. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Did you miss me? I did. I did. But me and Mama had a good time yesterday. Oh, look. Siri said you're welcome. I'm not sure I understand. Okay, Siri. You're not on the motherfucking show, all right? <laughs> okay. If you insist. <laughs> she said, okay. She said, okay. Bitch, I want to be on your show. She tried it, though. She tried it. Siri trying to get all up in here. Good morning, boo-boo. How you doing? I am doing wonderful. How you doing this morning? Hey, welcome to the party. Did everything check out? What? Did everything check out yesterday? You was going to get your prostate check, when you? Oh, y'all talking that shit. <laughs> Fuck, his ass. Fuck the both of you, individually and collectively. <laughs> okay? <laughs> prostate that. Okay, all right. Um, don't th don't throw me with a good time. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Listen, uh, welcome to the party. As you come in, please like and share the feed. Uh, little Timmy, I got something that's quick. We are the both of you, individually and collectively. Oh, I can't find the Okay. Is that me or you? It's me. It's me. I'm having a little technical difficulty here this morning. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. Check, check. Welcome to the party. Like and share the feed. Tell a friend we are here each and every weekday morning, 1030 to 11-ish. And we talking about a little bit of anything and everything and absolutely nothing. All Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Lou. What's going on, Mr. Lou Graham? How you doing? Welcome to the party. Good morning. Yes. Morning is, is really good, though. Morning is definitely good. So, Big D, what happened? How was your day yesterday? How, how did you have to get up on the run route? <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time. We talked about a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then a little bit of absolutely nothing. Y'all yeah, talked about me. Yeah, we talked about you. We talked about Tammy yeah, dropping. Yes, talk about the elephant not in the room. <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> 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 I they say something to that effect. I don't Timmy, know where little Timmy is. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy still, <laughs> Timmy still doing sermons in um the um, women's prison. Uh, oh, he said he out of town. Like I guess wherever the fuck he at, they don't have phones. Yeah, he said he said he was drink. He was taking Viagra and drinking plenty of milk, so he had to do another sermon. <laughs> I guess I can't stand little in, 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 uh, inept ass motherfuckers. You're so crazy. No phones? Where the fuck can you go where there's no phone? I told you he's in the women's jail. Because <laughs> he a woman. <laughs> he got a lot of <laughs> he's in the joints. Anyway. Because he got little hands and little feet, so they let him in there. <laughs> little bitch, <laughs> little hands, little feet for a little bit. Like I take that back, little Timmy. I'm just fucking with you. I guess he'll be back tomorrow. I hate that we don't know where the fuck he is. Cause I want to see him. Yeah. So what's going on with you, babe? How you doing, boo? So listen, it's a lot of shit happening. Um, apparently. There is a uh, student at Howard University. Uh -huh. who, okay, let me just let me find the story before I fuck it up. Because you know I will fuck up a story. <laughs> Don't come in here judging us. Expecting no TV type shit. Hey, hey. hey. How we do it, right? We're this, here for the people that this, need people. This young lady, may she rest in peace, Brittany Burks, 27-year-old, died after a suspect struck her vehicle at high speed uh, while she was stopped on the shoulder of the BW Parkway on Monday night. So the chain of events began when the suspect struck a canine cruiser on Coral Street Northeast, and wow. then uh, he kept going and a high speed police chase ensued. So police officers followed the suspect on to 295 where they then ran into Brittany whose car was stopped on the shoulder 
And that is very unfortunate. She was her mother's only child from the reports I've seen. And she was a beautiful young lady with a very promising future ahead of her. And, you know, it's just terrible. Good morning, Rosalind. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning, Rosalind. How you doing? That is the worst kind of news that any parent could ever receive, man. I just feel so sorry for her family. And uh, I, I just would like to. Yeah, me personally, man, I hate the BWI Parkway. And now because I live in Greenbelt, yeah. it's kind of like when I when I'm in the city at night and I know these these people leaving the club at night, you know, they be drinking and they be trying to speed, and it's no lights on the parkway. Right. And it's, Man, it's, cr it's crazy. Like I feel like with all the deaths they've had on the parkway, they should do something about some lighting at night on the parkway. You thought they do they they'd have done something by now, you know? It's yeah, definitely. Good morning, Bree. Welcome to the party, my dear. How What's up, Monroe? How you doing? <laughs> Monroe. Hi, Rosalind, a.k.a. Mom. <laughs> okay. If that's your real name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the joke. One of my favorite jokes that he does is when he talks about how, you know, as a kid, we grew up, we, we took ass whoopers. He talks about these kids soft and shit. Leave them in the car and they die. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, don't get out the car. Well, See, I, I remember I put the car in gear one time and the car was rolling. My mama left me in the car. <laughs> no, an uh, ass woman is better than death. That's what. Oh, man. Anytime. Anytime. We still here to talk about it. What's up, Bree? How you doing? So, anyway, the. Um, the Dominican Republic. Nigga. Once again. Let me tell you something. Anybody going to the DR, just go ahead and kill your motherfucking self. Okay? Don't even take the trip. Just kill yourself. Save us all the back and forth. You know, ain't no sense of you going over there, leaving everybody on pins and fucking needles. When you get the ticket, just go ahead and shoot yourself in the fucking head. A friend of mine posted a picture yesterday from uh, my island over there. They do this thing every year. Last year, he posted a picture. Everybody was in the pool. It was hype. This time, he posted a picture. It was probably like 20 people in the pool. <laughs> no, so the DR strikes I again. And like Monroe, I'm shaking my damn head. Because who in their right mind? Khalid Atkins has passed away after falling ill on vacation in the DR. Khalid traveled to the DR with his daughter. Uh... I'm sorry, with his daughter last week, Sunday, while trying to travel back to the States, Atkins fell gravely ill on the plane, throwing up, sweating, screaming, in pain. They kicked him off the plane. Oh, my God. They then took him to a nearby hospital. No, they took him off the plane, not kicked him. Yeah, they took they took him off the plane because I think they gave the family an option of of a uh, medevac and him to the USA, which they say the price tag was like twenty thousand oh, dollars, or taking them, or taking them to a hospital there. An option. So yeah. anyway, they took him to a nearby hospital in Santo Domingo, and um, the hospital gave the family the option to air back uh, get him back to the states. Yes, it cost twenty thousand dollars, and he passed away before any any they didn't even get a chance to choose either options like, you know, too late, he's gone. Man, when I tell you, I understand this, but I know I would not be going to the Dominican Republic. Man, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Like, like I say, hey, man, where, where, wherever the closest beach at right here, that's where I'd be. Let's all go to, we can go to Florida. Yeah. Yeah, my oh, thank wife, you. I saw a picture on that Dr. Pepsi. Uh, give me that. Can you messenger it to me. Marijuana Pepsi Van Dyke. I love it. I fucking love it. Congratulations to her and her doctorate. Back to that. Shout out to her mama and her daddy. Can we come back to that, sir? Yeah, we come back to it. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. So Bree brought us that story last week. Bree, we're going to talk about it. Boy, I got to talk about it. Black folks, black folks. Yes. My cousin them. I got you my cousin. 
Good morning, good morning, everybody. Please like and share. Share. It don't cost you a dime just to hit the share button for us. We appreciate you. Thank you for joining. We love y'all. Join in the conversation. Say hello to us in the comments so we can say hello back. I was supposed to show y'all a picture of the guy who died, but it's too late. Sorry. So, Serena. She- hey, hey. <laughs> Serena, Black Girl Magic, Black Girl Magic. Shout out for Black Girl Magic. Listen, that is one of my favorite black girls because she not only ha- is black exemplary, she is like got the body of life. Like her fucking body is magic. Oh my god, yes. And she gorgeous. I love her. Too. Hold on, I'm about, I'm about I'm about to act like your your average black woman, but she get all that money, then she go marry a motherfucking white man. <laughs> she money, okay. Nobody don't have time for no foolishness. <laughs> Miss Serena was having. Was that we're doing a show and we can't talk to you? Okay, <laughs> so Miss Serena was having problems with you niggas. Okay, you guys kept coming into her life. This girl is a boss. Not only is she an um, um, multi multi times over um, tennis champion, she actually is also the um, owner of several businesses. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she she definitely do her thing. Yeah, and a mom, and she's like she don't have time for no nigga shit. And the bottom line is, they kept coming bringing her nigga shit. She was like her, her and her, her and her sister, both of them bad man. And it's and Serena. Good morning, cousin. Good morning, good morning, princess. Welcome to the party, honey. How you? How you doing? Kudos to you, girl. She is killing that Wheaties box. She should have been yeah. on the box. You should have been should have been on a box. Yeah, that is enough. People, but people still eat Wheaties. Well, probably not. But I know somebody's gonna be eating them now in the hopes that they could eat Serena. Okay, Bree, we'll talk about it. Birthday Libra style. Yes, Libra I- gang gang, Libra gang gang gang. <laughs> okay, Bree, gang gang gang. <laughs> I want gang 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 gang. Seven. Yeah, but I, I think I think Wheaties took a real hit with that. Uh. Chris Jenner thing. What do you mean? Like people said, they ain't eating, they stopped eating Wheaties because uh, the Chris was it Chris Chris is it Chris Jenner? What what he call himself now? Oh, Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner, yeah. When he, and I was like, wait a minute, that's not true. <laughs> I like Chris Jenner. She's a boss. That bitch made billionaires. Okay, you know Chris Jenner is the mom. Oh, Bree, I, I hate to inform you. Um, he went to do a comedy show up in uh, Rikers Island Prison, and he fucked around and dropped the soap. <laughs> That's what happened to Timmy. He fucked around and dropped the soap. He is lying, y'all. Timmy took liquid soap. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy fucked around and dropped the soap. He's in the um, he's in the infirmary now. <laughs> you need to stop putting that bone out once. He had to get three. He had to get three. He had to get three stitches. He is not taking dick, y'all. He his butthole is in total tact. Okay. No, no. He went to the women's prison yesterday, and they decided to keep him. Yeah. They decided to keep him. They gave him some milk and some Viagra, and told him to stay and preach another sermon. He's trying to be like the Reverend in Brazil. Yeah. (laughs) So I'm looking for Dr. Pepsi uh, Monroe. Where's the picture? Dr. Pepsi, Dr. Marijuana Pepsi Van Dyke. All right, so let's talk about Dr. Pepsi. So Bree, a couple days ago, you know Bree just like pops out of nowhere with her shit. So Bree had a a story uh, that she wanted to know if we were up on. And the story was about this young lady. Let me show you her. Dr. Very, very educated woman. Shout mm-hmm. out to her. Shout out to hey, we working on we working on black girl magic today. This is more black girl magic. It is. It's total black girl magic. Look at her. Congrats, Dr. Pepsi. Look at Brie. <laughs> Got her doctorate in education. She received a PhD, as uh Big C said, in education. And Dr. Marijuana Pepsi had received a lot of bullying throughout her life and obviously her uh, education career and decided, fuck y'all, I'm not changing shit. 
Y'all don't like my name? Y'all think it's too black? I got something for that ass. She went on to graduate at like the head of her class, I believe, and received her doctorate. And what is it, um, Dale? Her, her, her dissertation was on um, name, um, the, the subject of name. And she was just saying that, you know, teachers, it's a certain way you can approach different names, especially the ethnic names in the group. Like you shouldn't approach a child and say the name and wonder like, oh, how did you get that name? Or what's going on with that name? What was your parents thinking? Or uh, anything like that. She said the teacher, maybe if they're concerned about it, pull them to the side and talk to them and say, hey, you know, um, that's a beautiful name, you know, figure out how they got that name, but not in front of other kids because that first interaction with that name can be problematic to a, to a young person. Yeah. And I mean, you know, we all grew up being bullied about certain aspects of our personal selves or our names or family members and things like that. So, you know, it's what it is. But what's happening lately is with, especially in the black community, with a lot of uh, young white teachers coming into the community teaching our children, they frequently uh, take issue with certain aspects of our culture, starting with our names because they can't pronounce them. You know, white people always say uh, names different, no matter whether it's black or white. I remember when George Bush used to call, talk about uh, Saddam Hussein, he would say Saddam. He would always say Saddam Hussein, you know, and uh, different things like that. So it's just like white people pronounce things Keisha. Let me think of a, a what's a typical. Oh, they, they used to they used to tear my name up all the time, and my name come from a white president. My name is Delano. They always used to call me Delano. I had a white teacher one time say Dolores. Shut up. I, I I still remember that to this day. I was in elementary school. She said Dolores. She said about three times. I ain't responding. And nobody, everybody else looking around like we ain't got no Dolores in here. So that is the same thing that um. That is the same thing <laughs> that some I lost my train of thought, y'all. <laughs> okay, but hold on. Let's 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 talk about this name though. <laughs> let's talk. You know exactly when she was born. You, you understand what I'm saying? She well, she she's a 70s baby. Because her 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 mama, her daddy was sitting on the couch smoking marijuana. She had told that motherfucker stop by the store and get a Pepsi. <laughs> And it was fucking wild. They were looking at Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> they didn't cut that bullshit out. Listen. They were high with their name. So her mama tried to say, baby, this name going to take you far. It's going to present challenges. Her mama and daddy or mama or whoever named her could have been thinking, man, because that is bananas. So they was like, we're going to just fuck her, fuck her. This is your name. Live with it. Deal with it. We want to teach you how to overcome obstacles. Right. She said it's gonna be your. your she said your name. Gonna, her mama told her, her name gonna take her around the world. Her, her and her mama fell close. It is. No, her, <laughs> your mama was watching Dick Van Dyke while she was fucking smoking marijuana and drinking a Pepsi, getting fucked on the couch. <laughs> 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 I've just been getting Dick Van Dyke style. <laughs> <laughs> what we go? What we go name? What's what's her last name? We yeah. can't put the dick on. We just gonna say Van Dyke because I was fucking you. Remember we was watching the episode of Dick Van Dyke when I was fucking you. That's the Pepsi. <laughs> Look, that's why you got pregnant. You kept yelling, "Bring me that goddamn Pepsi out the freezer." Not <laughs> the pepper gonna sue him, man. And I was trying to, and I was trying to smoke my motherfucking marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> that was back. That's back when it was in the church band, five dollars for a nick. <laughs> I would love to meet her parents. Let's see, uh, Monroe. Can you? Can we get Monroe into the thing? Let me see if I can send her the link. Yes, bitch. She got to teach me how to say that. Monroe got to teach me how to say it. Bitch, bitch, <laughs> bitch. I want to know bitch. what the hell this child is thinking about. Um, uh, this this person's parents were thinking, naming her Dr. Monroe Pepsi, though. I mean... Marijuana. Marijuana Pepsi. I'm Marijuana sorry. Pepsi. Look, y'all, I'm throwed off this morning. Don't judge me, okay? God damn it. Yeah, if you're looking for perfection, goddamn, turn your TV on. That's um, why... They, you probably ain't got no TV. That's why the fuck you watching us right now. Okay. You probably well, didn't pay your cable bill. Uh, <laughs> Monroe is... Pulling that drag together, honey. You get your cost of admission for this show. 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, beach. 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 Okay, so marijuana, Pepsi, Van Dyke, honey. Now, I don't know if her mother and them wanted her nickname to be Mary Jane or she was trying to name her Mary Jane just so that they could have an inside joke of marijuana, but fucked it up on the birth certificate. I'm thinking that's kind of what happened in this situation because mm-hmm. marijuana, Pepsi, they do go hand in hand, though. You know, you, yep, your, yep, your mouth be yep, dry. You got to have yep. something to drink. Why not a Pepsi? And hey, so, you know what you just made me think about, Monroe? Why? Her mom, her mama was a lesbian. Got the big. That was probably the first time she they was it, That she, was probably the she first from, time she's she from it. Atlanta. So, so the motherfucker was smoking marijuana, drinking Pepsi in the back of the van, and the dad was having a threesome with two dykes in a Van Dyke. Get it? Well, no, she probably went from a <laughs> she knows. No, the see, you got it all wrong. You got it all wrong. They, they she was went from in the dick back of the van dyke. with two dykes. Dick to dyke. Okay, dick to dyke. <laughs> Dick the Dyke, yeah, Dick Van Dyke, yeah, Dick Van Dyke. There you go, Dick, Dick Van Dyke. How in the universe somebody came up with yeah. that to name their child marijuana? I, I, I don't get it. I don't know. I, I... No, because she black, she didn't pronounce it marijuana. She probably named it marijuana. Her name is Mary Juana or some shit like that. Because you know, black people not only will fuck up a name, they will fuck up the pronunciation of a name. Absolutely. Right? They, put Absolutely. The, they put the French hyphens on it. <laughs> my, my, my sister girlfriend, Roshan, she ain't here today. So, Roshan, me, Lester, Roshan's sister's name is. Um, oh, yeah. John. <laughs> But it's like Mignon, and me and Lester was going back and forth saying it's Mignon. It's Mignon. It's Mignon. So Roshan got so so frustrated. I guess she y'all motherfucking sister there. <laughs> Shout out to Bree. Bree got us three sponsors: Wick, EBT, and ATM. <laughs> yeah, we coming up, baby. We coming up. Like you said, when Wendy move her show, when Wendy move her show out the studio in New York, we're gonna take over the studio in New York. We're not gonna be inside, we're gonna be right out front. Boom, boom, bye, Wendy. (laughs) So I mean, I'm trying to figure out how can you how can you mispronounce Pepsi? What did she say? Who? I'm trying to figure out how could she not know Pepsi was Pepsi unless she intended for that. No, she her Pepsi. You can't you can't you cannot mess up Pepsi. She she meant to be Pepsi. That's her favorite. Pepsi. I don't, I don't know, just don't know how you messed that up. Like I really don't. Like my my aunts, my aunts, my uncle, and everybody. They always back in them days. They used to have a debate about which one was the best, Coke or Pepsi. So she was letting everybody know she fuck with Pepsi. Pepsi always wins. Pepsi should have sponsored her with some baby clothes. No bullshit. But what you gonna give her? Baby bottles full of Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or you know, maybe a dispensary. Where she graduated in, in Michigan, right, or Wisconsin? I think the, it was school, the school is in the school is in Wisconsin. I know the story came from an Atlanta paper, so I don't know if she's oh, okay. in Atlanta. I was about to say a dispensary should have definitely sponsored her marijuana. Yeah. She, they could have took that and went a whole bunch Dr. of places. Doctor Marijuana, yes, Dr. indeed. Doctor Marijuana, man, what? That, that's a dispensary name right there. I know I have a PhD that's... in marijuana. Okay, yes, my name. Yes. It's in the name. It's all in the name. She, she should get her own strand. She, she should marijuana Pepsi, right? Yeah, Pepsi yeah. marijuana. She should just call it marijuana Pepsi. That's her strand. Strand. Mm, that'd be good. Mm-hmm. Dr. Pepsi, congratulations to you, sister. Yeah, Dr. Shout, out, shout out for all you've done, you know, education and keep teaching these babies out here and make them better, you know what I'm saying? If marijuana Pepsi can do a bone quisha, get your ass up and do it too, bitch. That, that mean that ain't got shit to do with the name. Aquanetta, get your ass up too, bitch. <laughs> Go do what you gotta do. You said, you know, RC was popular in the ACL. So, you know, cannabis is a healing property, so it's why Dr. Marijuana didn't have any option other than to ascend because unlike what they would have us to believe, marijuana is good for us. Mm. Yes, it is. As a matter of fact. Many healing properties. So home <laughs> you might not have as much of a chance as you think. 
Well, you know, maybe Aquanetta do then, because, you know, aqua water is good for you. So Aquanetta might got a fighting chance. Aqua She's going to be capturing niggas. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of women out here with strange names overcoming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just just the other day, I was at this spot, and this girl Lexis was doing a fabulous job. Lexis. Lexis, she was doing a fabulous job. That sounds like a stripper. I hope that uh, my one of my she did, favorite, she did an excellent job. One of my favorite ages, <laughs> Ryan Ha. You remember we had Ryan on the show last but not least. And Ryan Ha did this joke about uh, yoga, right? He said it was a rape yoga joke. And we were talking about how uh, you can't make fun of rape, right? So Ryan had a joke that he got booed off stage for because he was talking about he went to a yoga studio and uh, something happened and he said to the lady, nah, I'm going to stay, bitch, or something. <laughs> No, nah, I'm going to stay, you know, and rape your ass or something like that. It was not funny, but it was corny as fuck, so that made it funny. Recently... Kind of like the retweet. He did this joke about the <laughs> name, right? He said he went to a Safeway in Southeast and asked for quinoa, and they told him she was off today. <laughs> 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 now that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yes, indeed. Good morning. Thank y'all for joining us, man. Like and share. That was Please funny comment so we can know who, who you are and where you are and where you're from so we can shout you out back, man. We appreciate you. One of the funny, we're going to get Ryan in here so y'all can see for yourself. He is so funny. He's he's like the show, funny, not funny. <laughs> that was funny as shit. King Wall, she not here today. <laughs> I love Ryan Hall, man. That was he's funny. Like, we got to get out of here. Anything special happening? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to be um, at Greenbelt Gym in the next hour. Yeah, that's going down. I got a lot. I'm doing. I'm going live from Greenbelt Gym. No hassle, This is my 18 City Winery is going down. Get your tickets. We got the very funny Freddie Ricks coming in. We have Alex Starr. And maybe we can get Ryan Hart to get, do a guest spot. Let's see. He I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there too. And Candace August. So that's going to be amazing. You can get tickets at citywinery.com slash mm -hmm. DC. And they almost. I, I gotta go because somebody's ringing. Get your back. tickets. Get your tickets. Make sure you're there. Be there. Everybody gonna be there. Monroe, me, Timmy, Nikki. Everybody gonna be there. Give us the, the joke's gonna be funny. Did she leave? I'm oh well. Here. Hit us with the final word. I got out the goddamn way. Oh, okay. I, I, I hear. I hear what you said, but hey, today is what? Today is Throwback Thursday, man. Throw back on your thoughts. Throw back on your dreams. But make sure you're moving forward with them. Go get whatever is yours. Today is a beautiful day. Remember, I always say, tell somebody hello. All you gotta do is say how you doing, and you can change that person's day. Don't forget to follow me, the Mouth Underscore Moments on Facebook and IG, and the Mouth Underscore Moments on Snapchat. Check me out here every night while I give everybody the good night kiss. You can listen to it and hit a good night kiss. And if you got a good night kiss you want to send out to somebody special, hit me up. Email me at themouth247 at gmail.com, and we'll definitely get that kiss out to you, man. Don't forget to like and share this feed. We're here each and every day. 10.30-ish, 10.35-ish, but we're going to be here. Me, Nikki, Monroe, Timmy, everybody. Please join us. Like and share this feed, and we love y'all to death. Peace. like one of them old ladies praying. I had a fuck long with that one. We, we want to send a shout out to, to Deacon Timmy. He's stuck at home with lubrication. With lubrication, he's stuck at home. The doctor got him on extra lubrication. Okay, it is way too early for this shit. <laughs>